get started in photography? I got started in photography by taking photographs, which sounds really pretentious, but that's what happened. I just started taking photographs. So when I was a kid, I was obsessed with, um, I was obsessed with everything. And essentially what happened was my grandmother used to have this little Helena kind of pull out kind of point and shoot camera, which she used to have down the farm in Clare. I grew up in Clare. And I grew up in Dublin as well. And every summer I was sent down to Clare to my grandparents. Thanks, mum. And basically, uh, I would go into my granny's bedroom. I would go in and the third drawer on the right of the wardrobe, opening it up, this little Helena camera would be there and I'd take it out, I'd load it with film and I'd start taking photographs of whatever book that I saw. And that's what started me. What was, what was your main subject matter that you kind of fell towards? My life, my life, my life was basically, and that sounds really narcissistic, but it essentially was my life. It was my, the way I was living, my friends, what was going on. I thought that this need to be documented. There was something that was, not that it was interesting, nothing is interesting about people's lives individually, but collectively, everyone has a story. Everybody has something going on and there has to be a story behind it. And I just spent my early 20s photographing all my friends. The early years I spent a lot of time with a compulsion to take photographs and I had no idea why. I had no idea why. And I thought that I was the only person on the planet that had this problem. When I was 15 years old or 16 years old, even younger, when, especially when I was younger, I would, I would go on family holidays and I'd say to my parents, hey, listen, can I get a little disposable camera and take pictures? And they're like, just buy a postcard. Like, just, you know, you'll get a better picture and you'll remember it. It's like, no, but I want to take the picture. I want to take that photograph, that that's what is the thing for me, like that is a true thing for me. So taking people's portraits can be, it's, it's essentially the, my favourite thing to do. Um, I'm lucky in the sense that I get to photograph people that have been photographed a lot, but in saying that, it's a difficult thing as well. So for me, preparing for taking a photograph of somebody that has been photographed a million times, I have to look back on their work and I, I scour the internet and I look at everything that they've ever, ever, ever done. And I try to come up with something different. And I, 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 I mean, I don't know if I do, but sometimes I think I do. And that's, that's my little sweet spot. The last time when I photographed Philip Glass, we went backstage in the National Concert Hall and uh, I said, hey, Philip, I'm here. I'm gonna take your photograph. Okay. So, you know, the last person that took a decent photograph of me was Annie. What does that mean? It's like, Oh yeah, Ali Leibowitz. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. No pressure then. No pressure, no pressure. He just wanted to go eat dinner and fucking chill out with his mates and that's all he wanted to do. And he gave me five minutes of his time. And that's all you're ever going to get with these people is five minutes of their time. It's what you do in those five minutes. That's the most important thing. What you do when you first meet somebody and you break them down into something that is something that hasn't been seen before, that's the skill of a photographer. That is the skill of a photographer. And the only photographer that I could see doing that properly is maybe Harry Benson or maybe Jurgen Teller sometimes. But that is the biggest skill of a photographer. End of story. <laughs>